Hello, welcome to pktutorials.com. I am Dr. Magbul Han. So today we will start a new course about discrete mathematics or discrete structure. So let's start. The target audience for this course is undergraduate level students. Uh, and it's specially designed for students of BS and BE, Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Engineering, majoring in Computer Science, Information Technologies, Software Engineering, Computer Engineering, also for Data Science, Artificial Intelligence, Cyber Security, and other engineering students, uh, also for Natural and Physical Science students at undergraduate level. And this uh, course can also helpful for preparation of GATE and other competitive examination uh, to improve your problem solving skills and also mathematical reasoning how to solve this type of uh, questions. The course content that we will cover in this course is starting from mathematical reasoning and uh, it include on logic and proofs set theory, function, relations, counting, sequences and series, mathematical induction, recursion, number theory, graphs, trees, and finally discrete probability, the introduction uh, about it and also some other uh, topics that uh, include in the book that we will follow. So which book we will follow? It's uh, the discrete mathematics and its application uh, written by Kenneth H. Rosen and it's the 8th edition, uh, it's uh, latest edition, I think it's uh, 2019 or 20. So this uh, book we will follow and we will also take some examples and some figures and some other uh, exercises from these uh, books uh, to follow and we will try to understand that how to solve this uh, problem. So first we will start about the two terms that we will mostly use in this course is discrete and uh, there is another which one is continuous. So one is discrete maths and other is continuous mathematics. So what's the difference? Discrete, discrete maths concerns about set of objects that are countable. Countable means that we can count it. Jiski hum ginti kar sake. And the second one is continuous maths. It's concerned about sets of objects that are measurable. Jiski jo hai na hum paimaish kar sake. Jis tara fite se hum paimaish karte hain. So that's uh, objects are measurable. That's called continuous maths. So in this uh, course, we will focus on the countable objects, set of uh, objects that are countable. Let's take some example to deeply understand what's the difference between discrete and continuous. So in discrete, we are uh, will take counted values and in continuous it's about measure measured to measure the objects uh, in discrete it takes specific values but in continuous it can take any type of values including real numbers and float values uh, discrete take concrete number discrete number it's called integers the whole number that we will take in discrete but in continuous, it will take uh, real numbers or float numbers. Uh, what means by that? For example, if a uh, number of goals scored by a team uh, in like a football team or any type of game that they scored some goals. So that will be a concrete, a discrete number. For example, two goals, three, four, five, ten. So this is a discrete and counted values. But in continuous, for example, we have size of cars, petrol tank. So it can be 25.3, it can be 30.2. It should be different. It's not compulsory that it would be a uh, whole uh, digits. It can be, it's possible because real number is a big set and uh, integer is a subset of real numbers. So it's, this means that the size of the petrol tank is 
वो पूरा भी हो सकता है कंप्लीट डिजिट भी हो सकता है और पॉइंट में भी हो सकता है बट नंबर ऑफ गोल्स स्कोर बाई अ टीम और बाई अ प्लेयर वो थ्री पॉइंट फाइव इस तरह के नहीं हो सकते या कंप्लीट गोल होगा या नहीं होगा ओके इन अदर एग्जाम्पल नंबर ऑफ केट्स इन एवरेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल अपने गांव में बिल्ली की तादाद गिनने दस बीस तीस पचास कितने हो सकते हैं सारे सो इट्स अकाउंटेबल नंबर डिस्क्रीट नंबर इन अदर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कंटिन्यूस इज लाइक टेम्परेचर बॉडी टेम्परेचर आउटसाइड टेम्परेचर रूम टेम्परेचर सो इट्स लाइक थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव थर्टी एट पॉइंट थ्री इट्स सेम लाइक दिस सो इट्स अ रियल नंबर फ्लोटिंग नंबर डिजिट्स डिस्क्रीट नंबर आर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव टेन ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड कंटिन्यूस आर लाइक वन पॉइंट थ्री फिफ्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट फोर सो इट टेक्स एनी वैल्यू कंटिन्यूस विल टेक एनी वैल्यू so uh, another we can show it by graph by xy plane so discrete means separated that are not connected in this graph you can see the line the dots are not connected with each other but it shows it seems like they are connected but uh, they are not actually connected on the other hand if you can see the graph of uh, continuous data so it will a complete line and there will be no breakage or dots so that's the difference between discrete and continuous let's take some other examples uh, discrete is uh, another example is like number of students in a class for example some specific value this 40 students in a class uh, so it's a set of integer discrete values are set of integer so what means by integer set it's like whole numbers take start from 0 1 2 3 and also it includes negative number minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 up to infinity so discrete value also take negative because it's the part of integer set uh second is continuous continuous for example height of students in a class for example 5.5 5.7 5.8 6 feet so it's different uh, heights of student so that's a continuous data when you plot such type of data their graph will be a continuous line uh it's text set of real numbers and what is meant by set of real numbers so real number is start also from zero but it will take small steps in points in floating number like 1 1.1 1.2 1.3 2 3 1 and minus 1 minus 1.1 minus 2 minus 2.1 so it will also include all the uh, points number that uh, include between 0 and 1 1 and 2 but in integer set there is no inside number the small number between 1 and 2 so it's a discrete value so that's the difference uh, so we can also look at in digital devices for example digital computer it works also on digits 1 and 0 so it's uh, integer set value there is no minus 1.0.1 Point one, like zero point two, so it works on whole digits. Uh, one and zero, zero means off, and one means on. So it works on digits on and off. So what about analog devices? They generate continuous data, and their intervals, for example, interval between zero and one. So it will be a continuous data. And analog devices can create such uh, such type of data that it's continuous in nature. uh let's look at example for example we have digital clock so it's a digital device uh its timing is now 12:30 so it will go from 30 to 31 it will not go to 30.1 or 0.2 so it will 31 32 33 up to 60 so it's a discrete value that's why we call it digital clock another uh, for continuous we can take the example of analog data analog uh, sorry analog clock uh, in analog clock we can see the needle it start from 12 and it will take uh, for up to 1 2 3 3 so it also covered the distance or the values between 12 and 
between 1 and 2, 2 and 3. It's not just directly to come from 12 to 1 and 1 to 12 in one step. It will slowly move to the next digit. So that will create a continuous data. So that was the difference between discrete and continuous terms. So now let's come to discrete mathematics, how we can define discrete mathematics. So discrete mathematics is the study of countable, distinct or separated mathematical structures. जो की हम गिनती कर सके जो यूनिक हो और जो एक दूसरे से सेपरेट हो उसकी स्टडी को हम डिस्क्रीट मैथमेटिक्स या डिस्क्रीट स्ट्रक्चर कहते हैं सो डिस्क्रीट मैथमेटिक्स और स्ट्रक्चर इज नॉट अ ब्रांच ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स लाइक कैलकुलस ज्योमेट्री अलजब्रा एक्सेट्रा बट इट्स अ डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ ए सेट ऑफ ब्रांचेस दैट ऑल हैव द कॉमन फीचर and what's this common feature? It's discrete rather than continuous. Jo fix, uh, jo hama, iske common feature hai, that's discrete. For example, sets, relations, and graphs, all these take whole values and in, uh, use set of integer. So that's the branch that have common feature. In simple word, if we can define, uh, we can define discrete math in simple words. It is the study of discrete objects and relationships between this object. So, is me ham jitne bhi discrete objects hai, usko mutala karte hain aur uske darmiyan jo relationship hai, jiska taluk hai, kya taluk hai, usko ham study karte hain. That's called discrete mathematics. So the word discrete means individually separated. If you uh, look in dictionary this word, so you will find it means separated, not connected. And uh, distance that is means not connected. So then another question is that why we study discrete mathematics? What's the reason that we study it in computer science? Uh, because the computer uh, in computer data is stored, processed, manipul and manipulated in discrete manner uh, or in discrete fashion that is in the form of binary digits as now I already told you that it will be in the form of on or off, 0 and 1. Okay, So that's countable numbers, countable. That's why we study discrete mathematics. District Discrete structure concepts are widely used in solving engineering, mathematical, economics, and other scientific problems. This is not only computer science, but also the other engineering fields, especially mathematical problems, economics, finance, or other scientific chemistry, physics problems, we can solve discrete mathematics or discrete structure using discrete objects. So in some real world application of discrete mathematics are in computer science, we mostly use it in cryptography, artificial intelligence like in machine learning, deep learning, and also in algorithm analysis and relational databases. Also some a lot of uh, subjects that we use discrete objects, discrete structure, uh, especially we will uh, use in software engineering when we are make some programs, some software in software engineering. Uh, it's a foundation to learn basic concepts for computer science, data science, AI, software engineering, and cyber security, etc. This is the basic that the basic concept of computer science is easy to understand if you know the basic term of discrete structures. Okay, thanks guys. Like and share our videos and also don't forget to subscribe our channel. Okay, bye bye.